in the next 72 hours, you can expect manifold blessings. That's right. There's an open heaven. I've been hearing this for a while, but it was confirmed to me today, this morning, actually, that we are underneath an open heaven. There's so many blessings that are about to flow in your life. Understand that many will say that you do not deserve what you are about to receive, but they don't know where you come from. They don't know where you've been through. You've been through a lot. It's been a lot going on in your life. There's a lot that is showing that your breakthrough is so close that of course you're going to go through some things right before that big breakthrough know that it is coming to you in this next 72 hours i don't know who this is for and who understands that what you faced is not your problem it's not your fault it's just something that comes with the territory of living a life of purpose see when you live in your life on purpose you got to understand that you're gonna have some naysayers you're gonna have some things that's gonna come back your life that's gonna come against you but you got to understand that it's bigger the blessings are bigger than your problems things are bigger than what they seem i promise you it's not it's really not that big these things are not as big as they seem, especially when it comes to that breakthrough you're about to receive. You got to be ready ready and willing to receive these blessings so that you can have it. Because if you want it, you, gotta, you have to claim it and you have to believe it and receive it. It's all in the making. I'm telling you, once you get it, you're going to understand that this is how it works. This is how it goes. You're going to understand that what the enemy tries to do in your life right before the breakthrough, you're going to know to have that combat beforehand each time you're going to have some type of affirmations that you're going to say against whatever is going through your mind that is negative see the open heaven and the blessings that you're about to receive those things are just for you they're calling it's it's almost like the open heaven is over you but it's also open over those people that are connected to you so hear me when i say this the people that have been moved out of your life that had to leave that left some people some of you guys have been ghosted you've been left alone and you don't understand why but see they had to leave in order for those blessings to proceed in your life you got to know that you are about to receive so much that they can't be there to receive it because those people that are connected to you now are the ones that's going to be blessed too because your open heaven is so big that those that are connected to your life are going to receive so much glory they're going to receive so much honor right along with you and god wants those that actually deserves it to be the ones that receive it you got to know this so whatever's happened i don't care who it is it can be your family it can be your friends your your best friend and y'all might not be talking right now. It may be something that just happened that you didn't even understand. It might be your cousin. Y'all not talking. But it's really something that has been happening. It was supposed to happen. Y'all aren't supposed to be connected right now. Because see, you are supposed to have those around you who do deserve it. Those people don't deserve it. I don't care how much you look up to them. How much you love them. It's just not meant for them. It's meant for you and those that are supposed to be in your circle. See, you can't keep squares in your circle. You got to understand this. They can't be in your circle because there's something that they're, they may be holding on to that you don't even know. They may have some things going on that you don't even know about. They haven't even told you. Yeah, they your best friend, but they ain't tell you everything. You probably told them everything in your life that's going on, but they ain't told you everything. They may have some skeletons in their closet that they ain't told nobody, but I promise you the most high knows. There's a knowing somewhere and they can't be there at this point. You got to let go of what you lost and be ready to receive what you're about to get that you are rightfully deserving of. Let go of the past. Let go of those that walked away from you. Let go of those who considered you the black sheep. They counted you out. But see, that ain't what it's supposed to be. The Most High wants you to be in receiving mode. He wants you to know that it was meant for you to be in that position at that point. But he's moved you out of that way. He's moved them out of the way so that you can receive the way, <laughs> period. You got to know that you're about to receive so much glory and so many blessings that they going to look at you and say, dang, what, what happened? What happened to our relationship? And they going to try to come back. Trust and believe they going to try to come back. They going to want to be in your life and in your circle. But I'm telling you, they squares because it's something that they have not ironed out in their closet. They haven't done the right thing. Something ain't right and they can't be around you. And you don't want them to affect your blessings. You don't want them to affect your open heaven because they just might get it closed. I'm just saying you don't want them coming through blocking your blessings. See them blessing blockers. 
Mm -mm. We can't do that. You got to block them and bless them. That's all you got to do. So you can block them and pray for them. You can let them go and pray for them. It's okay. That's good. That's a good thing. As long as you're blessing them. Block them and bless them. Type that in the comments. Block them and bless them. But those are the people that you got to let go in order to receive these blessings. So let these blessings continue to flow in your life. See, some people are connected to monitoring spirits. They're sent to monitor your life. They may not even know that that monitoring spirit is connected to them. But there's a spirit that is connected to them going back to tell everything you're doing, what's happening in your life. Yes, and you don't need that around you. So be careful of the people you try to bring back in your life or keep in your life when you know it's time to let them go. You got to be ready to receive these blessings. Listen, you underneath an open heaven, so you better be ready. Get ready to receive it and let that go. Let them go, baby. Don't keep no squares in your circle, period.